A bit of new information was leaked over the weekend. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. I saw a photograph of the brand new D750 radio that is yet to be released floating around online over the weekend. I reached out to my contact at Kenwood and confirmed this is a legitimate photograph. So let's take a few minutes and see what we can learn. Now, we're basically going to be looking at the icons across the top of the radio, starting from the left and working our way to the right. That first one right there uh, is Vox. That one's pretty self-explanatory. And then we get the WX symbol right beside that, indicating that this radio more than likely has built-in uh, weather channels in the memory banks and probably like the D75, also has a weather alert feature. Just to the right of the WX, you will see the GPS icon. So that's telling us that this radio more than likely has a GPS built into it, which I would expect that it would. And then just to the right of that icon, I had to actually go look this one up. That is GPS tracks. It's kind of like breadcrumbs for a GPS. It's a function that's also built into the D75, but I haven't really messed around with it too much. That's why that particular icon kind of caught me a little bit off guard. Just to the right of that, you get the red circle. That is simply indicating that uh, you are recording. So I'm going to assume that you can record both sides of a QSO if that's something you wanted to do and be able to save that to an SD card. Just to the right of that, you get the capital P. That is uh, priority scanning, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, at least that's, again, what it looks like on the D75, and I would suspect they have replicated that in the 750. Of course, we get the clock just to the right of that. Now, a little bit more exciting, we get both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built into this. Not exactly sure what they're going to do with the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth, uh, with the D75, I've got uh, access to the TNC over Bluetooth. Now, they might surprise us with some more functions. I'm kind of uh, taking some best guesses from looking at this image just like you are. Now, interesting here, we get two indicators for SD cards. This one is a little bit confusing to me because I can't quite figure out why you would need two SD cards on board the radio. Maybe one in the head and one in the body, but that's really just a wild guess on my part. But since we do have two SD card indicators, I would suspect we're going to get two different places to put an SD card in this particular radio. Now, just to the right of that is the lock symbol. Uh, if you've got the radio locked, and to the right of that is a mute indicator. The last one over there, I can't make out if that is PM Papa Mike 5 or Papa Mike Sierra. I'm not quite sure from that photograph. It looks more like a 5 to me than an S, but it's hard to say uh, from this particular photograph. I'm not sure what that one is. In fact, I don't have even a good guess on this one. At first, I thought it was priority uh, memory scan, where you could load a priority channel up into the radio and periodically check that even while you were monitoring another frequency. But that's what that uh, capital P in yellow is used for on the D75. So when I've got priority memory scan there, uh, you get that capital P. So I'm really not sure what that PM5 is. If you guys have a guess or if I've just overlooked something because it's a feature I haven't used with the D75, leave it down in the comments below. Uh, other than that, we've basically got uh, some some of the same information we've kind of had in the past. Uh, you get the APRS indication uh, up there to the uh, top right of the 144-390. Uh, and then we get STA, beacon, and object uh, telling you what kind of packet maybe you're seeing at that particular moment. And then down below that, we've obviously got some of the D-Star functionality that they're showing in this photograph on the bottom band. So that's what was leaked over the weekend, and I have confirmed that this was definitely a authentic photograph. If you found today's information entertaining, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.